Good morning, everyone. So about two days ago, I went to Hobby Lobby <laughs> for the first time for actual like shopping. You know, I think I've been there twice since this whole pandemic, since before March of 2020, at least, because I know I don't go there all the time, um, even though it's the closest place to me. So I don't really go to Joann's and Michael's anymore because they're so far. When I lived in Poway, there were two, one in like the older, you know, how there's always like an older area of buildings that was like built in the 70s and there's like the new revamped one so where i used to live there was literally two so anyway i'm just getting lost in uh memory of what was in power actually it was a michael's and a joann's that's what it was was it i feel like there was two joann's but anyway who cares um so i would go to those often obviously there wasn't a Holly, hobby lobby near uh, it's not obvious but there wasn't and um, now i live in a different town and hobby lobby is like three miles down the road and michael's and joann's are much further they're not even in this town so Men, I mean, much further. I'm talking about Southern California, much further. So 10 miles is like, that's ridiculous. I'm not driving out there. So that's how that works. But, um, you know, it's just, you know, whatever. So, um, so yeah, so I went and, and I was looking for specific things that I was like, I have to go get them. Because, like, there's some things I would like to order from Michael's, but unless I see them, and it's really for the planners, those um, the little traveler notebook, I guess is what some people call it. I just called it a journal, but it was for this guy. I wanted to get more of this. Um and I wanted to feel it because that one's kind of thin. And so anyway, and I guess um, my haul is just kind of random. Um, obviously, I don't have links to Hobby Lobby or anything like that. But whatever, I always keep in the description box or affiliate links for other uh, things, which means I make a small commission if you're pretty sure those links. I do not have links for Hobby Lobby. Um, <laughs> that's not something they do. But they do sell pretty much everything they sell in store online. So you can always check that out. Um, I didn't realize, I guess, they're having their clearance until I got home. I thought, oh, there was kind of a lot of clearance stuff. But I wasn't looking for clearance stuff. I was looking for that stuff, that elastic, and then a couple other things that I wanted for um, uh, making tassels, like beaded tassels. And it's so funny, I was just talking to a girl here. Um, this is kind of why I didn't, I, I took two days to even make this video because I'm like, there's so many things I want to just talk about too. Um, we're, we were saying like, uh, when I made the beaded tassel for this, you know, it was very easy for me just to grab some stuff because I have tons of beading stuff. And then I was like, yeah, what's so good about it is like, you know, um, I already have all the stuff. I don't need to buy anything. Well, you don't need to buy anything, but I want to buy things, right? Especially when you get a beading. If you're not familiar with any of that stuff, you're going to start seeing all these pretty things and you're going to want to buy it all. And it's just, you know, how it is with beading. That's why I have so many things accumulated because we pick them up because they're pretty. But, um, I don't even know where I was going with that story. But yeah, so I just want to, oh, do a swap and I, uh, did a quick shorts video about that and there was a lot of interest in that. So I will definitely follow up hopefully this week, maybe tomorrow or the next day, um, to start a sign up for it. I, I think it'll be fun. And I don't know if it's something I would do monthly, but maybe quarterly. Uh, it, it just depends. Um, the little notebooks, and it would be a bigger one than this. I would think to do the 5x7, like a B6 size, because it fits in a priority rate flat mail box. Um, that way, when I send it back to you guys, um, you know, that's a whole other thing, too. So we had to talk about that. But um, but I think it'll be cute and sizable and easy to do. Um, a definitely a laminated journal like that, laminated. So we'll talk about that when we get there. Is Miranda awake? I heard some weird noises. I, I waited too long to make this video. All right. So let's just get started. So the whole thing is I was looking for some items for that. And then, you know, I started seeing obviously other things at Hobby Lobby. But um, they have a huge clearance on their paper. And what's so funny is that they don't give you the coupon anymore, right? They stopped doing that a little while ago because supposedly they're going to lower the prices throughout the store. I don't know if that's true or not, but let me show you um, the reason I'm even questioning it. It's because, like, this paper pad was not in the clearance, but it was on sale because this week they have everything Paper Studio 50% off. 5050, 50% off. And so I always like to get um, pattern papers at places like that because if you really think about, it, like, um, a lot of the companies that we really like, other than maybe Crafters Companion because they do do um, uh, designer papers or, you know, pattern papers, um, we we're looking at glitter, we're looking at shiny paper, we're looking at basic papers. There's not a lot going on as far as um, printed papers. So, that you know, so I like to get those things like at stores like this, the big box stores. So this was $19.99, but they also had paper pads there. Exact same thing, looks the same. It said $21.99. So then I was like, huh. But then I'm like, well, which one came first? The 1999 or the 2199? I mean, this says 2017, I'm sure, because of when they, not when they made it, but when they 
made this design. So I'm sure the other one said the same thing. I don't know. I didn't look at it. So either it was $21.99 and now they're $19.99, <laughs> which I hope is the case, or this is the last $19.99 one because the other ones that were $29.99, there were still a several of them. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Or people are like, yeah, I'm buying this one. I'm not going to pick up the other one because the price is $21.99. It looks exactly the same. So either way, I did pick this one up, like I said, on sale just because I was like, this would make amazing journals or traveler's notebooks, whatever you want to call it. Oh, so pretty. So this one's called Stargazer. I did pick up a couple of these because what I thought was cute about these, again, 50% off, um, is that they have everything in here. Like if I want to put this in my little journal and cut pieces of the, you know, the stickers and put them in there and it has everything that I would want and then it has all the papers that are so pretty. Um, Oh, I guess Anna Griffin also makes pretty papers, too. Like, this one reminded me of that. So, all these papers, I mean, how gorgeous. So, I picked up... I was going to say, I picked up two of this one, right? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. And I thought these two were the same, because they were right behind each other. And I was like, oh, yeah, they just must be mixed up. So, either way, actually, they're both really cute, but I would love to have two of each one of them. <laughs> so, this one's Family. This one's Petals and Blooms. And this one's 12 Days of Christmas, just because I was like, I want to do a Christmas notebook, too. So, um... There's that. So again, things are on clearance, you know, this LOL paper, again, the paper studio stuff. Um, just really cute. I don't really try to go, go with six by six paper um, because it's less um, functional, right, than like larger size papers, but this was so cute, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I don't know where to put this stuff. Let me... uh, let's see here. This is another one, the Paper Studio Terrace Blooms. And I don't believe this one was on clearance either. It's just some sticker got stuck on there, but um, a piece of sticker. This one was uh, full price, but 50% off. Just really pretty again. And I'm just thinking Traveler's Notebooks. And of course, now I want to make notebooks for, or at least covers for each one of these things. <laughs> Crazy. Um, okay, now these are the clearance ones. Baby paper, which I literally got rid of my baby paper when I destashed last time around, most of it, because I was like, eh. But I still want to obviously go back and do baby pages for, like, all my kids. So I thought this one was really pretty, really sweet. And some of the stuff in here isn't necessarily baby, but how adorable is this? And it was 549. It has, like, a texture to it. It's kind of interesting paper. This one, I grabbed two of it because I thought, okay, one's for me to kind of do fun things with. Look at this paper. It's ridiculous crazy. And then one for Miranda to her, for her just to mess around with because she likes paper too. And I thought this is a fun paper pad for her. So I grabbed two of those because, again, they were $5.49. Oh, let's see here. Okay. And this one I just thought was too cool. So again, see, these do say twenty one ninety nine. So I'm hoping, and I'm sure you guys, I have, I have not been there, like I said, since, um, you know, over a year and um they used to always be 1999 is how i remember because even at michael's right but whatever so i guess they were 2199 for a while but either way um this one i just thought had really cool patterns in it for five bucks guys i mean come on um i would have bought a lot more but i was like show some constraints so there's only three more paper pads here <laughs> um see this one says 1999 uh, this cactus makes perfect. This one's called Navy Safari. Sorry, I should tell you just in case you want to look for it online there. Rainbows and animals. And the baby one is called Hooray Baby. This is, again, cactus makes perfect. And this is very thin layering weight paper. I don't know if you can tell. The other ones were more like cardstock or might have a texture. This is very layer weight paper, which I like. If I was to put this in a journal, I'd back it up, you know, uh, with another piece of the same paper. It's very thin too thin. So I do like thinner papers for journals or for laminated items, but that is too thin. Um, again, $21.99, but this is Boho Vibes. This one's interesting. It just has a lot of texture. It reminds me of those papers that, what's that company? Ay, there's a company whose papers always feel like this. What are they called? And I usually get it at Tuesday morning. Um, this is really where I've only seen them. Gosh, I can't remember the name of the company right now. Either way, it always feels like this weird kind of linen, almost like wallpaper. It's like more of a different kind of texture than... And it's on the back really more than it is on the front. What is that company's name? I can't think of it. Hi, Mama. I'll be right there. Um, Mint to be fab. So yeah, that was Miranda. I was like, I know I heard something. Uh, cardstock, again, not the super thickest cardstock in the world, but pretty good. 
And this one, I just like the colors in here. I Honestly, this is my least favorite paper pad, but some of the colors I thought were pretty because, you know, I like that coral. I just don't know about the designs, but there it is. All right. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This is so weird. I haven't done a haul. This even feels weird. I was like, I'll do a haul. And I'm like, because I usually do haul videos for stuff I buy online. So everything kind of makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm looking for certain things. When you go into a store and I haven't been there, I guess I'm in some kind of shock or something. Because it's like you walk around and it's all kinds of different things, right? So, you know, whatever. I did pick this up. It was not on sale, but I really love this right here. I was like, oh my gosh. So with Hobby Lobby, you guys know every week or other week, they're going to put things for 40 or 50% off. It depends on the line. It depends on, you know, yarn is 30% off usually like every other week, like just stuff like that. But this one, this particular set was not on sale, but this is the kind of thing I was telling you guys, if you want to do even just the little charms like this, just pick up some kit like this. Um, I did have links to ones on Amazon. I do actually have affiliate links now for um, Panda Haul which is a beading company, or they do jewelry kind of stuff. And then um, Beataholic. I always want to say Beataholic, but Beataholic is, um, I think, out of the U.S. I'm 100% sure. <laughs> but uh, Panda Hall, I think they ship from the U.S., but they also ship from China, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But either way, um, I've shopped uh, Panda Hall before, long ago. Um, I'm going to be placing order with Beataholic just so I would have... Um, something to tell you guys about it as far as a track record, you know what I'm saying, since I haven't shopped with them before. But, um, you just get a kit, dude. It has the 3-in-1 plier, it has all the little wires, it has, like, the findings you might need, like, you know, to do some of the, um, lobster clasps and even jump rings and all that stuff. And then this one has, has pretty stuff in it, so I thought it was cute. So I just grabbed that one. Um, oh, this is interesting. <laughs> they had, um, Art Impressions. Uh, Bible journaling stamps, and I didn't realize those Bible journaling ones. I just looked at it and thought, oh, that's cute, because they work for anything. I tell your little ones awake. Um, and so I grabbed uh, pretty much whatever they had. So um, one for giveaway and a couple for myself. And that's what they had on that. I'm telling you, this is so random. I did pick up this Agenda 52. Um, again, 50% off. Uh, stickers, embellishments to have things for whatever you want to use them for. They, you know journals, travel notebooks, just whatever. Basically for planners. Um, but they just had really cute stickers in here, so I grabbed that one. They had tons of them. I really went to get that elastic, and I went to get regular paper like this. <laughs> so this one happens to be a succulent cardstock. This is just regular white cardstock, but I like the colors that are in here with the pink and the grains and that kind of pale slate color. Um, I'm not sure why I grabbed so much of these pink ones. I use a lot of pink. So this is called Sweetheart. Again, just a thinner cardstock. This one does have some cream colors and lighter tones in there. This one is the heavyweight cardstock in lots of different pink tones. And then I go through white cardstock like a maniac. So this is heavyweight, 100 piece white cardstock. Um, Oh, so while I was in the beading aisle, they had this, and I'm like, oh, you know, I use my Impress Art once every five years. I need this. <laughs> so this is the dabbing kit. I think this is a lot of fun, though. Actually, I have one of my little things that fell on the floor the other day, and I was like, ah, so it's still there. Here, this guy. So all you do is take this out. You're going to pop this in here or there. It depends. And you take this thing, and you bah, 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 and you're going to hit it, and it's going to make it curved, which I think is funner. I mean, this is cute, but I think it'd be more fun if it was curved. Like, why not? Um, they are showing you the way you can use it for different uh, things there. But, um, yeah, you can pop it in here. And then that thing will hold your little guy. That's what that's for. About that. Amanda wanted to have some entertainment, and it was very loud. Um, I did pick up these beads, even though I have a million, thousand, hundred, I don't even know what the number is, but beads, <laughs> gazillion beads. These are really cute. I like what's in here. And again, these are 50% off this week. And I like the color way of this one with the different chunkier beads and smaller beads and things. So I just grabbed these. Oh my gosh. I probably should have cleaned up while I was pausing for Amanda Lou. But I didn't. All right. What else do we got? Um... Their markers, I think, are 40 or 50% off right now. I don't know, but I did pick these up. I've never tried these before. The Sakura um, brush markers. I love their Pigma ink. It's archival quality. They're, I've, I've had mine. They're ancient, and they still work. Let me open this up just to grab. Let's grab this pink one and try it real quick. <laughs> Looks very pretty. Oh, you know what? 
So the other day when I was cutting up all those papers, I ended up with all these papers to make my little notebook and I've been using them. And for some reason I always write the word hello. <laughs> okay, I haven't written something like this in a long time. So it's not the pen, it's me. If this looks bad. <laughs> I always forget it's upstroke, downstroke, whatever. Anyway. Not bad for my little nasty writing, but it's very thin. That's so cute. Yeah. What do we do? We go down, up. Nope. <laughs> That's better. I tell you, I haven't done this stuff in a long time. I always forget if it's like downstroke and then upstroke is thin, right? Something like that. Pretty nice. I don't know. Okay, cool. I didn't know anything about these, so happy to have them. Put those there. <laughs> they had a ton of um, <laughs> uh, bow making uh, little things, which I make my own bows and I already have pretty much all this information, but I do like to see it like this. And I'm sorry, I just saw this little girl's hair and I was like, oh wow, that's a very mature hairstyle. <laughs> Beautiful, very mature, but there it is. I mean, it looks like a little girl, right? Maybe, it's, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be an adult. Either way, I went to get this stuff, and this is probably thicker than what I wanted, but I like this better than that little thin cord I was using the other day. And honestly, I went through the whole store. I started off, like, you know, in every section because um, I didn't know if it was going to be the sewing and, like, the thread area and the wherever. And I went through all the, the kids' area. I figured if it's probably going to be there, and sure enough, that's where it was. Um, what's funny about this is that this stuff wasn't on sale because this is clubhouse crafts, okay? You know those for kids' clubhouse crafts? But Treehouse Studios was 50% off. I'm like, okay. So I got these things, and I just, I don't want to go back there very often. Like, I'm still, you know, being careful, even though I'm all vexed up and everything. So I grabbed every color pack that they had there of the elastic cord that I wanted to get. I still want gold kind, but that's okay. We'll talk about that another time. Um, and then while I was there, I grabbed Miranda. All these other cute. Look at these little ones. How cute are these? She loves to make bracelets and things, and I think these are adorable. Um, I had to pick up some of these. These are bigger letter blocks than you normally see. I don't know why there's five random pink ones in there or four. I guess they just got away, but um, these are bigger than the normal letter blocks, the little cubes that you might see at the Dollar Tree, so I thought that was cute. Grab those. And I can even put those on a journal, you know, just to be kind of whimsical. Look at this one. This one has um, little mermaids and things. So adorable. Okay, this is the bag where it's like... You can get a bag like this of beading things and then you end up spending a lot of money. I'm not even gonna... It, it doesn't look like there's a lot in there, but there's a lot of little things. Everything was 50% off, and that's pretty much another reason why I was there. So... Tons of jump rings, lobster clasps, and people ask, what are lobster clasps? clasps? Um, it's this one. It looks like a little lobster pinchy hand. Um, I got them in different colors, so I had to get jump rings in different colors. Because I usually keep silver and gold and, like, bronze, but I thought they had new fun things. I even got some fancy lobster clasps in case I want to make, like, a fancier journal. These are nice and heavy. Um, it, you, know, you use those for, like, bracelets or necklaces, however you want to use them. Um, these guys, they had this... Um, jump ring and class and everything but in that weird kind of metallic a b look so that was kind of cool so i had to stock up on those i mean it's all just these little guys i like to get things like this at the dollar tree but they haven't carried them in a long time so i got these there um again like the kind of brass looking oh here like that cool look well how fun would that be in like a more fun kind of uh, journal Okay, Miranda came to collect her beads. She's still here, and I'm like, what do you need? She's like, the bead things? Because she overheard me talking about Miranda and beads. All right. Um, we have the little bottles. I mean, there's just a bunch of this kind of stuff I picked up. I'm not going to go through each and every one. I did pick up some of this stuff because this was also 50% off, all the metal gallery stuff. And I never really saw that they had beaded chain like this, um, like the kind you make keychains with. It comes with a ton of the little ends. Uh, or clasps, and so I thought that's really cool because I do like making like polymer clay, so like all kinds of things I can hang on that for a keychain. So I thought that was awesome. I did pick up some. I thought I had there. Yeah. Just some metal chain that you can use for making these guys. So like this one, all I did was link things together. But if you wanted to put a chain and then hang things off the chain, and I have some chain already, but I, I thought these were cool, so I grabbed these. Um, yeah, just more bead finding stuff. 
Uh, nothing to write home about, so I'm not gonna go through all those things. Um, Cause it's very basic. It was all like these basic things, you know, other than like those other beads I picked up. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, so then I got this one too. This is a lot thinner, but it is thicker than what I was using. I don't know if you can see, there's a little, and that's kind of why I was saying it's hard to gauge on um, like other sites what it is, but just to help you out, 1.2 millimeter on that one. And this one that is much thicker is, oh, I thought this one said, it just says super thick, sorry. That's a bummer, I thought it said on here. Could have sworn. So this one's 1.2 millimeters. So it gives you an idea. So if you want to do something like this, it's probably like two or two and a half millimeter. I don't know. Um, if you're looking online. And then I grabbed a ton of these, like four, four of these. Um, because a lot of these things, like this stuff, just came in a bag, you know, or those kind of things. But also all those little findings I just showed you, I'm basically gonna dump them in here and color coordinate it in spots and have it ready because what happens is <laughs> I have all my beading things like this is here and there is that and oh now there's more of this in here and it's a huge mess I need to go through them and rearrange them so that when I want to make something I can easily pull out whatever I need and work with it right instead of like searching everything down every time I go to use them so um yeah I think that's it I have other things that I've ordered online that are here but uh from Hobby Lobby this is it so it was fun to get there and apparently like I said they're having some kind of clearance Spring clearance, I guess you want to call it. Um, so I was not aware. Oh, two more elastics. Here's the other one. Yes, yes, yes. So this is the other. <laughs> this is the one I first found in the sewing section, but they only had very boring colors. Um, but this is thicker than what I just showed you, that kid one, the 1.2 millimeter one, and then thinner than the other one. So this is probably a good option, too. So this was in the sewing section, obviously, sewology, um, in the notions area. So, if that helps you out. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I will be back very shortly, hopefully. Ooh, fingers crossed. <laughs> with some uh, probably Spellbinder stuff. And I'll see you guys. Yeah, I want to get this video going for the sign up for a, a journal swap. I think it'll be fun. Again, um, it'll be the kind that probably has three booklets in here. Maybe a little folder. Maybe an insert. Um, and I want to make it things that you have at home. Other than the laminating machine, you might not have it. Maybe you sit this one out. Maybe you see how it goes. And maybe you want to pick one up. Um, I do have another laminating machine on order. On order. <laughs> through Amazon um, with a bigger opening, but only because my Scotch one, it works great. It's just older and it's fine, but I wanted to get one that's bigger. So um, I'll review that when it comes in and that'll give you an idea. And I think it was like 35 bucks-ish. I think the Scotch one is right around that same price, but I know the Scotch one is great. The one I just picked up is like an off-brand, so <laughs> we will see. Um, yeah, so I'll just follow up with you guys. I think it'll be a lot of fun. All right, uh, have a good one. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye now.